Hello everybody. Hey, I wanted to give an update on this trailer that uh, some of you may remember me talking about on a previous video for uh, 2018 Summer Projects. This trailer that my dad had that uh, I think was designed to haul combines on it and it was kind of our main implement trailer back when he had a tractor shop. And I just kind of wanted to give an update on all the progress that I've made on it so far this summer. But first, uh, I wanted to kind of show you where it came from. So this is kind of the overview of what it looked like when I first brought it home um, last summer. And uh, it needed a lot of work. The ramps needed a lot of work. Um, the deck really needed to be replaced or um, at least repaired quite a bit. But the frame underneath was in really good shape. The hubs didn't get even get warm on the way home. I mean they got just a little bit warm but they weren't hot. But this is us literally pulling it out of a scrap pile. I had previously checked it out, looked underneath, made sure that the frame was in good shape. Uh, the tires were actually still holding air. They all moved. So we pulled her out of that scrap heap there, iron yeah. pile, and then uh, cleaned it off threw some different tires and rims on her and hit the road. I actually had brought back my dad's tractor dyno at the same time. But then she sat for quite a while until this spring when I kinda needed to fix her up. So I cleaned it all up, wire wheeled it, primered it, and started painting it black. Even got uh, the family involved with it slowly uh, started putting some black on it got some lights on it and some reflectors so I needed to test her out and see how she would do hauling something roughly the same weight as my 1755 with a loader on it And actually, uh, the tires that I'm running on here are uh, actually bigger diameter than what was on this trailer. Probably bigger than what was available back when this trailer was built. So she's pretty close. She actually rubs just a little bit depending on the contour of the ground. So we kind of needed to figure out something to do. So the plan was to cut out this original um, equalizer balance beam for the leaf springs between the two axles and basically give the trailer a, a lift, put in a longer mount there. And that got us the clearance that we needed. So we drug her back home so I could finish up all the wiring for the lights and the brakes and everything else. And so now I'm finishing up the wiring on it. I have the side markers wired in on this side. I got uh, one up front, one here, one there, one back here, and then the obligatory red one at the very back on the corner. I think the law reads that I only need one more somewhere in the middle of this, but Better to have too many than too few. Don't need any reason to be pulled over on this thing. And I've got these lights. You can barely see them wired in back here. And now I'm finishing up these. So there's the red, amber, 
And we're gonna go here, that one, and this one up here. And then I ran out of heat shrink uh, this past weekend, so I'm working on finishing that up now.